Arsenal travel to Portugal tomorrow night on Thursday night at quarter to six for our Europa League fixture in the round of 16. This is only the first leg. Obviously, the second leg of the return fixture will be in England at the Emirates. However, I'm going to be predicting the score for the Arsenal versus Sporting Lisbon game tomorrow night in Portugal. So, first of all, I don't know much about Sporting, so I can't comment on their team, but I do know a lot about Arsenal. Now, I know Sporting have a couple decent players. However, I don't think they'll be able to handle with the pressure and the skill that Arsenal players have. We're currently top of the Premier League, obviously five points clear of champions Manchester City. And we're currently dominating the Premier League, showing grit and determination to come back from games when we're even losing and to prove to people why we are worthy of the Premier League title this season. Now, obviously, Sporting are... I'm not sure where they are in the league. I'll probably put the graphic up on the screen at the moment. I presume they're somewhere near the top in Portugal. And it, it the first fixture is in their favour. It is at their home ground. And it'll be tough for them when they come to the Emirates. And I think it'll be tough for us when we go to Sporting. I'm going to say 2-0 though, I'm going to say 2-0 to Arsenal, we will hopefully, and I hope that we play a uh, a bit of a weaker side because I don't want to risk any injuries for the uh, title charge for the league, like for example if Kiarantini's not available because I heard somebody's had like surgery for an illness I'm pretty sure, if he's not available then I'm willing to start that Lino Souza from the academy, He we saw him in the American tour just before the... Uh, just before the season restarted and also in pre-season a little bit. Saw him against AC Milan, I'm pretty sure. So I think it's great to get him experience, get a few of the academy players in the first team, not where we're left too exposed, but to not risk Zinchenko's injury because obviously he's so important for this Arsenal side and for their success in the Premier League. Now, we've also heard news that Gabriel Jesus is travelling with the squad after being introduced to full contact training today. We saw them pictures and videos come out today back in full training our boy is back which means Gabriel Jesus should be back for the Crystal Palace game or the sporting return fixture at Emirates we're not sure when but I'm happy that he's back and I don't care when he's back as long as we don't risk another injury in the latter stage of the season which could benefit us losing or winning the title if it means we rest him for two more games that we need to just to be safe do it I want this Premier League title more than anything so keep him fit he's such a key player in this Arsenal squad we must keep him fit at all costs. So yeah, this is just a really quick video to predict the Arsenal versus Sporting Lisbon game. Now I think it's going to be 2-0 to Arsenal. It will be a tough game, but I feel like we do have the skill, we do have the players, and we do have the determination to win this and go on a Europa League run. Now I think it'd be great to go on a Europa League run, try and get to Istanbul. Pretty sure the final is in Istanbul this year. Try and get there come May. However... I would rather not win the Europa League and win the Premier League because I feel like that's more beneficial for us. It would it would mean more. We win the title, we get back to Champions League football and not risk injuries. So yeah, this is just a really quick video just to predict the Arsenal fixture tomorrow night. Wanted to get out before tomorrow, obviously. Yeah, I think that the game is going to end 2-0 and I think the goal scorer is going to be... Reese Nelson, because I feel like he'll start. He'll Mikel Arteta will uh, rest Bukayo Saka in my opinion. I think he should anyway. And I have a feeling Martin Odegaard or Fabio Vieira could score, or maybe even Martinelli. As we know, Martinelli scored in the Europa League. I'm pretty sure this season. So it'd be great to see them get on the score sheet, gain a bit of confidence before our fixture against Fulham this weekend, and then the return fixture as well. I want a good scoreline tomorrow night. So me feel more comfortable at home in a week's time when they come to England. So yeah, if you guys want to see more boxing and football content, don't forget to subscribe. This is now a boxing and football content channel. Um, except it will be more football content because there's not a lot of boxing content to put out. However, the AJ Franklin fight, I should be doing an overview on it. And the uh, Joe Joyce versus Zhang fight, I should be doing an overview on that as well. But yeah, this is just a really quick video just to uh, explain my predictions and thoughts of the upcoming game. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys all in the next video.